Okay guys, so I have a haul for you. I know I haven't done a haul for a while, but I found some great stuff and I was really excited to show it to you. So, um, let's start off here. So, Dollar Tree now has their nautical theme stuff out and um, I would check it out if I were you. They have some amazing stuff. So I found some of this. Now it's only five foot um, per bundle here, but I just love the two-toned. It really makes it look nautical. So I bought three of those. And then they have several of these, but I really liked the this one. Um, I was looking at, I can unscrew this and use it on a DIY if I want, or I could just use this whole thing. But I only got one. I am really trying not to buy much, guys, although you wouldn't know it by looking at my haul here. Um, so if I know I have a lot of, like, for instance, I have quite a few of these from previous seasons, um, so I really don't need any more, but I mainly bought it because I might use this in a DIY. So I got that, and then they have all these nautical pieces of fabric. So this one has the anchor, um, the captain wheel, the compass, um, looks like that's about uh, all they have on this one. And then this has the nautical rope, and then this one has some starfish, some coral, a sand dollar. Um, a seahorse so I and I loved the colors in that one and then this one has some sailboats on it so I grabbed some of those and then these so they had um, this color which I love I love the sea glass they also had another one and I want to say it was like just clear because I, I didn't get it because I was hoping they had a different color blue and they didn't but what I really like is you could always take these off and use them on DIYs too. So they had that and then they had the square ones and they had the three different colors here and I just thought they were all so pretty. Um, they also come with a little fish on there, uh, which seriously, um, it's no big deal because I know I bought some little wood fish, uh, I think, from Dollar Tree. So, but I did get some of those. I thought those would be pretty to do something with. Um, I did buy, I saw these last week and I didn't buy any, but I went ahead and bought them. I do like them and I could see doing something with them. And so I just bought two, but I, I love how they have the rope. I love the shape of them. It, this looks nautical as well. It, it really does remind me of something nautical. So I also got this. Um, it says relax. And I actually thought of putting this in my bathroom above my bathtub, um, but it could be a beach theme as well. And then they had the word beach and they had them, I think in three different um, colors. This is kind of a grayish color. And then there is this, and I want to say there might've been a white, but I'm not positive. I don't remember. Um, so I just got those two there. Then, I last year I never could find these last year I was so bummed so they had a whole bunch this um, the other when I went today and so I bought a couple packs of these and then I found the starfish as well so I was really excited now if you guys I don't know what your dollar trees are like but the dollar trees that I found this at um, the sand dollars were were by all of the nautical decor the starfish were over by like the floral department where they have all the little rocks and pebbles and stuff so you know if you're at your Dollar Tree and look all around because there were times where I found some things in different areas not all with the nautical stuff and then they have these candle holders that look like rope and I thought these might be really pretty to paint and use some um, antique wax on it so I bought a couple I was tempted to buy like three more I probably should have and make like candle holders with them 
but I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll go back and get more. And then they had several of these and they had the small rounder ones too. I, again, I'm not, I'm trying not to buy too many things, but I just bought this one. It says, wish upon a starfish. It's kind of got like a white wax on it. Um, but I just thought that would be fun to make nautical as well. So, um, I did get more nautical stuff. I'll show you all of that in a minute. Well, yeah, no, I'll show you now. I'll try and keep it all together. Okay, so, sorry guys, I have a bucket next to me full of stuff. Okay, so I found these little wood turtles. Little wood turtles. I have a turtle themed um, challenge coming up in May. Some seashells. And then they had the starfish on the little clips. And they're, they're wood too, so, or MDF, one or the other. And then some cute little whales. And then I had some starfish. And I did not get this at Dollar Tree. I did get this at Hobby Lobby. Um, Again, we have a turtle uh, challenge coming up, so I was looking for something with turtles. Then I got these, they had these at Dollar Tree, and so I grabbed a couple of these jute balls, they call them. Oh. Okay, oh, okay. So, Last year, I think that they had some of these things last year and I didn't find them and I was really bummed, but I did get a couple of these wood captain wheels. I don't know what's all over that. Ugh, I don't know. Hopefully it washes off. And then a couple of these anchors, these wood anchors. And then I'm not really big into mermaids, but I love that she was holding the starfish. And I thought, you know, I could probably do something with that. So I got this this mermaid here. They have a couple of them. They have this one that's like standing up, and then they have this one that's like laying down. So I grabbed two, one of each of those. Although I'm not sure how I'm gonna paint her top portion there. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry, I'm throwing all my stuff on my on Oliver's little bed. Then they had this wood seahorse and they had these anchors and I know last year they had these or at least I saw on Facebook people showing these and I never found them so I was really happy to find them as well. Um, so I grabbed two of those and then they had um, the wood whales as well. And then these were really cute, these little fish. They have um, this style here and then they have this style here. So the skinnier ones and the, the fatter ones. But I really thought those were really cute as well. Okay, so for the signs. So I think I got a couple of these. I got this one. Um, you know, these are just their MDF boards. These are just MDF. So we could, they're glued on. So we should be able to take them off easily. But I really like the, um, the words because we can take those off and use them for something else because more than likely I won't use these as they are and then this one says seaside um, this one says home but I love that it had the bead hanger and then this is just MDF again um, but still we could take that off and use it for something else and then this is the same and then then this one that says beach and again, I'm probably just going to use the wording on this or um, for a nautical theme. So, but, you know, it's really nice how they're making it look like a frame instead of just their regular MDF board. They are kind of stepping it up a little with their decor. Okay, so then I bought one of uh, this one. This says, let the sea set you free. And these are really thin. I don't know. I might try and take them out. I don't know if I can. I don't know how well they're glued in there. Um, but you know, you can always paint them something else. And then this one 
It says relax, the beach fixes everything. And oh, yeah, I miss, we used to live an hour away from the, the coast and not anymore and I do miss it. Um, then they had these metal seashells. I thought they were really cool, so I got one. And then this broke, but that's okay. We can we can glue it. Um, but it says, "Sun, take take me to the ocean." Um, and then this one has the whale, and it says, "The sand and me." So I don't know. I was kind of wondering if we can break this off, or maybe even use it my saw to kind of cut it off. We'll see. We'll see what I come up with with those. Oh my goodness, I'm not going to be able to move. Oh. Okay. So then they have these houses. So I just bought one of each. Um, I love houses, but uh, I'm getting quite a, quite a horde of them. But this one says a mermaid lives here. This one says it's a beach theme, and this one is on beach time. Love them all, but I love I love how they have the little wood piece on top of those. I just love the houses that do that. It just really um, gives it some added character. And then they had these. They had the square and round. I think I only bought one of these, but what I really like is this is a chalkboard material, so I could do if I wanted to use one of my chalk couture stencils, I could just do it right on there and might make a, I think I have, I do have some wording that I could put on there uh, from, for a beach theme um, from chalk couture. So I was excited about that. So I just grabbed one of those. Okay, and then they had this surf, sun and sand canvas. To be honest with you, I just bought it for the board part, but you never know, I might do something with that too. So I just grabbed one of those. Now this, I was really excited about. Look at this lighthouse. Oh, it is so pretty and I am so excited about that. So I can't wait to do something with that. Then they had these two, they had three scrolls. I don't remember what the other one had on it, but one has the, I think it might've been a mermaid. It was either a mermaid or a seahorse. Um, but this had the metal anchor and the metal, um, starfish so I just grabbed two of those and then we have these now oh I, I know they had these last year and I was never I never was able to find them and I was really bummed but they have this one it says all you need is love and the beach and this one says gone to the beach but I love them I think they are really cute even just like they are they're really cute um, I love the corrugated cardboard here but uh, I got a couple of those. And um, then they, there's this sign that life is better at the beach and it has this MDF um, starfish. Although I can see all the glue there. <laughs> and then we have this, it says, two less fish in the sea and it has, they're not wood, they're MDF with like, just a covering, mirrored paper covering, so. Those aren't gonna last too well. And then they say home is where the heart is. For me, it's by the sea. And so yeah, look, I mean, I just love how they're just adding the little bits of detail to just kinda make their signs just a little bit nicer. Um, but I got that one. And then these were really cool. These are tags, but they're like uh, cork board. And they have the, I um, uh, can't think of what they call that. Ah, tell me what they call that. I can't think of it. Um, and then they had an octopus, which, I don't know, octopus is kind of weird, but um, yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. And then they had this. This is a huge seahorse, and it has that metal corrugated star, and it says salty and happy, but um, yeah, it's huge. I just thought that would be fun to do something with. So I think that's all for the nautical. There are more things out there. There's a lot that I didn't get. Um, again, I'm just trying to use more of what I have, but some of this stuff I just had to get that I don't have anything of. So a lot of, a lot of the signs and stuff I only got a few of um, because of that. So now this is not nautical themes, but 
I bought these bandanas because of this. You know their dishes? I think their dishes are so pretty and their towels and stuff, but I just love this blue. I think it's so pretty, this floral print. So I thought it'd be really fun to get this and do something with them. Plus you get a bandana as well. <laughs> and then I also bought, I bought these a couple weeks ago, but I thought I'd show you. I think they're really pretty, this fabric. And it's, um, it's a fat quarter, they call it. So it is 100%, this is cotton flannel, and it's 18 by 21 inch, inches. Um, but I just, I like the pattern. I thought it looked kind of farmhouse. So I grabbed one of those. And then this is more like a, ticking stripe almost, ticking stripe, is that what they call it, ticking? And this is flannel as well, but it's still, I really liked it and I thought it might go good for some farmhouse DIYs, so I grabbed those. And then I found these. Now I have just the gray one and I saw, um, uh, She's So Crafty did something with these the other day and I found these that have the coloring in them. So I decided to grab a couple and have them on him hand for some DIYs. And then we got a few 4th of July stuff. They are getting some of that out. Um, here are some window clings. I love the truck and I love the home of the brave. And oh, I just love that too. It's so cute. So I just thought that'd be fun to have these. And then this one, um, I just, it kind of has the, you know, kind of the farmhouse uh, look to it because um, it has the like the burlap look around so I just thought I'd get that one too and maybe use it for some DIYs. Now you guys, these, I have not seen anybody haul these and I just thought they were so cool. It's a metal like wreath and it says home. So I bought a couple of those but they also had this one that says gratitude and it looks like some flowers. So I was really excited when I saw those. I think there's some fun things we could do with those. So I just grabbed a couple. And then they have these chalkboard tags. They come two for $1.25. So um, I got one of each, which was two. And then they have the uh, whiteboard as well. And then they had the rectangles. I just got the chalkboard just because of knowing I could do chalk couture on it. But they also had the whiteboard in the um, the rectangle shape as well and then these you guys look at these these are crafter square they're three wood dice so they look a lot like they're foam dice but they're much smaller and they're like it says one and a half inches so I grabbed two because I just thought those were awesome and you know there's always something you can do with those and then look at this guys now they have white and black tile letters. Now they had the regular Scrabble tile letters, um, but they only have 26. So they only have one um, letter in the alphabet per package. So it might be better. I get mine off of Amazon to do something like that, buy it in bulk and get a lot more. Um, but I wanted to get the, I haven't seen white or black ones on Amazon. Of course I haven't really looked, but I just thought, hey, that's really kind of cool. So I just bought a couple of those to have on hand because um, I love that they have the colored ones. I, I hope we can I can start finding more, maybe even on Amazon, that are colored because I think I would really like that better than the regular uh, Scrabble tile color um, on some things. And then look at this, you guys. They have chicken wire. Now, I don't know if they've ever had chicken wire there before. I've never seen it before, so I grabbed one, and it's a 12 by 50 inch um, piece. And so, yeah, I had to grab some, even though I already have some from Hobby Lobby. Um, here are some ribbons. They had another one, um, but I have one that's already similar to it, so I didn't get it that just had this uh, burlap back and stars. Um, but I just grabbed these. I really like these. I thought these were really cool too. And so I grabbed those for the fourth. And of course, you know me and ribbon, I think I'm addicted to it. 
I love little birds and I never find it's like whenever people it seems like I watch other people go to thrift stores and they always find birds and I never find any but they had some of these little birds and I just thought oh how cute so I went ahead and bought one they did have a couple other colors I think pink and blue um, but I just bought one I'll probably paint it um, and do something with it now these you guys I am so excited about these look at this look at it's a galvanized pig oh my goodness and look a galvanized cow I could not believe it and then galvanized chicken oh my goodness I saw these and I was so excited you would think I had won the lottery but I have not seen anybody um, haul these yet or any pictures on Facebook or anything so of course I don't know what that is Ugh. Um, I had to grab a couple and I oh I'm real excited about that I'm I think it'll be fun to do some farmhouse with that then I found they had some of these glass tags they had a couple of different shapes they had a tag I think they had a square and a circle and it's ceramic so I just got one I just got a tag I love tags you guys um, so I just got that but then they had these too these these are uh, chalkboard jar cutouts. Now, if you saw my, now, I don't know if when I air this, if my Mother's Day video will be up yet or not. I haven't decided when I'm gonna air this, but I do a Mother's Day gift that has a, that I use my chalk couture jar stencil. If you don't have it, this would be an great alternative for what I just did um, so if you see these I would grab I grabbed two I probably should have grabbed more but I'm being nice I only grabbed two but I love this and I love that it's chalk couture too or it's a chalkboard because I can use my chalk couture on it um, yeah so I was excited about that too and then I have not been buying these because I have so many of these long boards but I saw Jackie with crafting in Mimi's world actually she's got a, sh a shop with me or a haul channel um, and I can't remember I think it's Dollar Tree in Mimi's world or Dollar Store in Mimi's world something like that but I saw she did a haul the other day and she had some of these so I found them and I wanted to get them but um, again this is I'm pretty sure this is just paper on top of it that's what it looks like but I just thought it was really cool it's got a nice distressed look and you know I could even I might even just do something with that without distressing um, it's really weird it doesn't feel like paper but yet yeah, it's got to be paper because it doesn't feel real either but I just thought they were really cool and really cute looking so I went ahead and got a couple of those now just um, let's see just a few more things I bought these they have nothing to do with uh, nautical but I just thought these flowers were really pretty they're poppies and I hadn't seen them before but they had white and pink and this like purple and lavender and then this uh, tealish color so I grabbed some I just thought they were really pretty flowers and then they also have these boards now I don't know it's probably cheaper to go to like Home Depot and just get a big board and cut them out but um, I just grabbed four of them which equals five dollars I can probably get a long board for five dollars so I need to check them out and I should measure because it doesn't say how long this is let me see these are 11 inches long by five and a half inches wide so um yeah I'm gonna have to go to Lowe's or Home Depot and check out and see what it would cost I don't how thick are these let's see these are mm, about a quarter inch thick so yeah I think I'm gonna have to do that next time I'm out and about I'm gonna stop and and just price and see because pro more likely it's probably a better deal if you have a saw which I do um, to just get a long board at a hardware store 
or home improvement store. It's probably cheaper, but I don't know. I'm going to check it out. But I just bought four of these to have um, to make some wood DIYs. And I think that is everything. Um, yeah, I'm sorry I'm not showing my face, guys, but my shirt has stains on it and I have no makeup on and I was out and my hair's all windblown. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought I would just do it this way for a change. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and I will see you on the next one. So have a great day. Bye.